Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a slight update to a previous video I did, which was the uh, Insta360 Go versus the Runcam 5 Orange. And in this video, we're actually going to have some flight footage. <laughs> So what we're going to do, we're going to put them both on the quad like this and fly at the set exactly the same time. Now the uh, the angle of the 360 is going to be slightly different because of the mount that it's on. But at least this this time they're flying at exactly the same moment in time so you're going to get the same lighting and everything. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Well here we are at the test site as I like to call it. It's a beautiful day, the sun's out shining. So all I'll do now is get my gear unpacked and... Uh, Let's have a fly. Well there we go, there's a few flights done, it only cost me one battery, but if you're not breaking something you're not flying properly are you? So let's go back home now and have a look at the uh, footage we got. Now if we look at the image from the 360 Go by itself, you can see there it's really really highly saturated. You know, the greens and blues are very vivid. And one of the major problems with this is there's no settings to alter in the camera itself. You can do it in post, but you can't alter anything that it actually records. Like a lot of people like to alter the ISO and shutter speeds, give you more motion blur. Unfortunately you can't do that with this. So if we look at the uh, run cam, you can see this is a, a lot less saturated, the greens and blues are more muted, are more, uh, a lot flatter. And the good thing with this camera is it's got an ability to alter the ISO and shutter speed so you can get a lot more motion blur. You know, you can alter alter after in post to get the desired effect as well, which gives, makes the image a bit more personal, a bit more to your taste. So if you look at this uh, run cam image again, I've actually put a filter on one half of it, tried to sync it up so you get an idea of, uh, you know, you can alter the contrast in post a bit to make it a little bit brighter. But it's, a, it's a very personal thing how we like the images to look. Well, there you go, there was a bit of footage there just to give you a better idea of what these actually look like. But I think in the end it boils down to what you really want these cameras for. You know, the, the uh, 360 Go is limited in the, in the fact that it can only record for, I think it's one minute, two minute or five minute intervals. And then after every use, you have to put it back in the charging case and use it. You can't adjust any settings on it, but the stabilisation on it is really good. So for FPV, I don't think it's your best choice. Well, you know, possibly the Insta360 Go 2, which... Uh, is a lot better in terms of picture quality and I think you can actually power that from some quads or that might actually be the Cadex Peanut which is basically the Insta360 Go 2 stripped down with a few extra pieces on and uh, in regards to the run cam I think you can 
film almost continuously for two hours at 1080p. And I think it's somewhere from an hour and 15 to an hour and 30 at 4K. And then you, uh, your batteries run out after that. So I think for FPV needs, the run cam for me wins anyway. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you disagree with my findings, please tell me in the comments. And I'll definitely get back to you. But if you enjoyed watching this video, would you consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up? And we'll see you in the next one.